Our next film is something special, a movie that is as startling for simply existing with its documentary-like qualities as for its emotional story. It's about the conflict between Russians and Muslims in the Caucasus Mountains. Here we meet the principal characters as the young daughter of the patriarch of a Muslim village worries about her future. She does have one asset, two Russian slaves taken in battle. The two Russian soldiers are the film's focus. Chained together, they talk about the war as Prisoner of the Mountains puts a human face on a civil war that has killed tens of thousands but is unknown to most Americans. <laughs> Here, the mother of one of the captive Russian soldiers journeys to the village and tries to ransom her son's freedom in a totally original sequence about the insanity of war. Over the last three decades, I've seen many gloom and doom Eastern European war pictures, but rarely one that told the story of war from such a specific personal level. Filled with striking visuals of remote mountain villages, Prisoner of the Mountains is a very special movie. Oh, it really is, and what's fascinating here is that this is war going on between bureaucracies while at the same time it's also going on on a personal level yep. and the reason these prisoners have been taken they weren't taken by uh, Muslim troops they were taken by a guy and his friends who want to use them to ransom the old man's son who the Russians right. have and then the mother comes and tries to get her son back right. and it's rare usually these things happen a thousand miles away here you have the parents trying to save their children in the middle of a war that really could care less. That's what I'm saying. It's taken down to the yeah. very human level, the family mm -hmm. level, uh, and, it, and it's different because of that. Also, just the look of the picture. I mean, what, didn't you feel privileged to be taken oh, to these uh, to locations? to see that amazing village. Village on the top and of the And the little girl, you know, I, in a cliched movie, the little girl would help them escape or she'd be kind to them. Here, she likes them a lot, so she's going to do them a favor. She's got to make sure they get a good burial, you know, because <laughs> she still buys into the whole system.